is the Visual Form Builder plugin for many, many reasons. But one of the top reasons that I use it is because it actually saves a record of every person's information who fills out a form on your nonprofit's website. Now, that might not seem really necessary. I mean, after all, you're hopefully getting all of these form submissions sent to an email address uh, that you have access to. It's actually really valuable though, because the truth is, even if you do everything right in terms of setting up your site and applying SMMTP to messages coming from your site, chances are some of the emails that are being sent to you from the website may actually be caught in your junk mail filter and you may never see them. So, you know, if you have volunteers signing up on your website or people, you know, applying for different programs and things like that, that obviously is totally unacceptable. Uh, fortunately for us, Visual Form Builder has a feature to get around that. So let's take a look at how you can access that information. So as you notice here, I'm already logged into the dashboard of WordPress. So I'm going to scroll down and go to Visual Form Builder. From here, I can go to Entries. On the Entries page, what I'm going to be able to do is access the information for the form that I'm interested in. As we, you can see, you know, we've only got one form right now, so that makes selecting that pretty easily. So I'm going to click view here. And what we see here is the information for this particular form filler outer. All right. And it also does give us useful information like what form they filled out, when they submitted it and things like that. So we can at this point, um, you have an option to print if you wanted to. You could also move to trash if you wanted to. Uh, entirely up to you. Uh, you've got all of that information accessible to you in the system and you can do with it whatever makes the most sense. You can also, and this is pretty neat, um, download all that information to a CSV, which is fantastic. So what you can do is, again, click that export button and then in here, we can select, you know, what format we want. Now, this is not a pro version of the plugin. So the only one that you can do is a CSV. It functions really exactly the same way as an Excel spreadsheet. So that is not to worry. Then you can adjust, you know, which form you want the information from, a date range, if that's relevant to you. And then you can go in and select which fields that you want. Now, generally speaking, you're probably going to want most of the fields that are in that form. After all, you know, that's why you put them there. You didn't just put them there for fun. So I like this select all button that allows you to pick which fields. Um, you can also delete things like, for instance, uh, IP address or the entry ID. You know, that's information that's useful to WordPress, but not necessarily useful to you. So it's kind of nice that you have that option. Okay, so I've got the fields that I want to download selected. Now I'm going to hit download export file. I'm just going to save it to my desktop because that makes things easier in terms of access. And then I'm going to click to open that file. And as you can see, we've got a list of our form entries. Obviously, we don't have a lot of entries right now, uh, but you can see how this would be a very easy way to process a large amount of entries on the system. So that's useful in a couple of ways. Um, if you just want to have that export as a backup, you can go in and check to see that you've been getting all of the emails uh, from your volunteer application form or whatever form you have on your website. Or if you just prefer to you know, use spreadsheets uh, as a part of your work style, uh, you also have access to downloading that information and using it uh, if that's kind of how you like to do things. So that is yet another cool feature of the Visual Form Builder plugin.